Three, we now welcome to studio Lali David, a partner and the head of business development at Our Crowd here in Israel. Lali, thank you so much for being here in studio. So the Pandemic Innovation Conference gets underway on Monday. Your last summit that Our Crowd held was a raging success in terms of Middle East numbers, over 15,000 people registering. How have you had to adapt right now in terms of Corona and having to go online? Right, so it's it's very exciting. We basically we took um, we, we took our expertise in content and con content creation, and we put it online. And it's exciting in two ways. It's exciting in terms of the structure, and it's exciting in terms of the actual content and speakers. Uh, both of them will will you know both these factors will make sure that this is really a unique conference. Give us an idea, as we were talking right now with my colleague Ariel, who is at Ichilov Hospital, so much focus right now about a vaccine. You are going to be speaking in the conference to so many technology and innovation leaders. Talk us through how far, in your opinion, from the feedback that you are getting, how far is Israel from having some kind of breakthrough or success in reaching a vaccine or some kind of cure? Well, we've invested in, uh, in Migvax, which is the leading company in Israel that is uh, leading the race for the vaccine. Migvax is taking its experience from creating uh, a vaccine for, for poultry and adjusting that for human, and is actually working rapidly on uh, adjusting the technology to human, going into human trials uh, at the end of the summer, uh, and scaling up manufacturing to be able to bring that vaccine to, to the globe certainly is the whole world watching to see who can get there. And when you're looking at innovation, a $100 million pandemic innovation fund, that's a lot of money. Talk us through the kind of investment that is likely when you're speaking to people who are at the cutting edge of what they do right now. So the Pandemic Innovation Fund will, will basically focus on two main sectors. One sector is healthcare related and the other is the new normal. In healthcare, it covers vaccine, testing, diagnostic, therapeutics, uh, companies in early stage and later stage. In the new normal type, it's basically to mitigate the disruption caused by, by, by this situation, whether it's social distancing, remote work, remote education, uh, companies that develop technologies that address these issues. As you say, we're all having to get used to a new normal, both at home and in the workplace. Talk to us about multinationals abroad. Are they looking to Israel for some kind of solution right now as the world waits for some kind of answers? Yes, for sure. And we'll see part of that tomorrow at the conference. We have uh, the CEO of uh, John Hopkins Medical joining us. And John Hopkins have been the leading source of data uh, when it comes to, to COVID. We have Neil Ackerman from Johnson & Johnson. We have uh, the Ruth uh, Atherton from the Gates Foundation. So we we, we, we see the interest of those global institutions and enterprises uh, focusing on the technologies coming out of Israel. We see that across cyber, across healthcare, across aviation. Global uh, airports are looking for technologies coming out of Israel to facilitate the new normal uh, when it comes to aviation. And Lali, given your pulse, the finger being on the pulse, so to speak, of technology really around the country, briefly talk to us about the opportunities that are being created in this time of crisis. Well, the opportunities are uh, basically in the private markets because we see the we see the increases in the public markets, but we don't have a play in the private market to leverage all these opportunities, whether it's healthcare related, like, like the race to vaccine and diagnostic, and whether it's the new normal uh, companies doing robotic process automation, cybersecurity, and others. And Israel is leading in these areas of technology. Well, it really is fascinating to hear. I'm sure the conference will have a lot of intriguing developments. Lali David, partner and head of business development at our crowd here in Israel. We wish you all the best. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.